Max, he is, he's four years old. Um, he was diagnosed with Phelan McDermott syndrome, um, or otherwise also known as deletion 22Q13. Um, this affects cognitive, um, developmental delays, uh, speech and language delays. So he uh, is behind developmentally in a lot of areas. So it takes a lot of time and patience to work with Max. But in the end, it's, it's a huge blessing to be his mother and to have uh, Renee be able to watch him and to just kind of walk this road with him. <laughs> Without childcare resources, um, it's unimaginable to think. Um, I would not be able to work. There's not too many daycares that I know that would take on a child with special needs and give him the attention and the one-on-one -on -one time that he needs. My name is Holly Snyder. I teach third grade at Corvallis Primary School. I love teaching. I actually chose the profession because as a child myself, uh, school was tough. And as I look out there, those kids that have had excellent early childhood education are able to problem solve at a much more advanced level. My name is Julia LaFromboise. I work for the Children's Center. We are a nationally accredited preschool here in Missoula and STAR 3 in the STARS to Quality program. STARS is a wonderful program. It is a quality improvement program for early childhood education here in Montana. It holds every early childhood educator and program center, everything that's out there to a higher quality, which I believe we really all need to meet in order to provide the best education that we can for children. STARS is important to our program because it holds us to a higher standard. It helps us develop a stronger curriculum and um, helps us set a stronger foundation for the children and their future. The children who come to school that have not had excellent early childhood education struggle tremendously. Not only do they struggle academically, they're always a step behind they struggle socially and emotionally, and then we start to see sometimes that they struggle behavior, they have behavior problems as well. Uh, they, they're watching other kids progressing, getting the material maybe a little bit, eas maybe a little bit easier, w and why they can't get it. Or they are struggling on the playground socially with friends and they're not fitting in, and then you have these emotional issues that come along with all of that as well. A year ago, my husband and I divorced because I realized that I was not in a healthy, positive environment in Texas. I moved with a van full of stuff, my two children, back to Montana where I had a good support system with my mother and my father. And I was told to try childcare resources to help find a job, help pay for childcare while I was looking for a job. And once I found a job, Child Care Resources has been the only way I've been able to keep it. When I came back home, I knew I needed to start something new in a positive way. When I came back home, I had to start from nothing. And even harder, I had two children I had to bring into this and start from nothing. And if I didn't have Child Care Resources, I would have nothing. I, well, I would have love, which is not nothing, but financially, I would be broke and probably in assisted living and my kids wouldn't have what they needed.
I probably have to go back to Texas and be in a place where I could give them love, but it would be infinitely harder. <laughs> Not to give them love, but to give them the positive life that they needed. 